Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. My head is bigger than the entire San Antonio credit union. A credit union is very similar to a bank. And there's one thing you can bank on, and that is, it's my second channel, daily blog channel, San Antonio, Texas segue into my big head that's bigger than that building. It's a monstrous noggin. Actually, it's just forced perspective. My perspective is that you're staring at me vicariously looking at that building, even though if I was standing next to that building, that building would be bigger than my face. It's the Daily Woo. It's kind of cold. 31 degrees. I'm going to go dip into this little corridor of this hotel we stayed at last night. Even though I thought it would be warmer in the corridor in this enclosed area, but there is no roof and there is no door. It's kind of chilly, 31 degrees, not that cold. Anything around 30, 31, 32 degrees is actually pretty bearable in my opinion. Once it gets below that, it gets a little too chilly for me, and that's when it starts getting below freezing. When people say, man, it's freezing out, a lot of times it's not freezing, but technically it is freezing out. Look at this, look. That looks like ice, but I think it's just salt. If they sprinkle salt right there so that no one will slip and fall on the ice. Here's this here. The ironic thing is, not, no person has slipped and fall. The cone protecting those and warning those. The cone has slipped and fall. I've fallen and I can't get up. I'm a cone. So basically I have 10 days left of tour. Stayed in this hotel here last night. There's the van that we're driving around. Do not be confused. That is not my van. Even though it is a Ford and it looks like my van, that is the band I am touring with, playing bass with. We're driving that vehicle around. That's the little trailer full of the equipment and stuff. We drive around, load in every night, play shows. Tonight we're playing in Corpus Christi. We're going to be leaving San Antonio in about an hour or two. I was hoping everyone would get up early and we could venture downtown to visit San Antonio's historical area. Remember the Alamo, sir? Do you remember it? Well, I wanted to visit that today. I've been there before, but I've had a new insurgence into the beauty of the Alamo and the learning things about the Alamo. And I hope to get back to the Alamo and spend a few hours there, not just a quick walk through, but I want to go there and really soak it all in and learn. I'm really fascinated by the story of the Alamo. You know the thing that's ironic, look. The trailer, the rental trailer we're using, is actually a Texas plate. Even though none of us are from Texas, there's a Texas plate. Isn't that ironic? It's like a U-Haul trailer on a cold Texas day when you have a license plate and Adam the Woo is saying hey. Anyway, back to the Alamo. Remember the Alamo? Everyone always makes the joke from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Remember the basement in the Alamo, sir, ma'am? Children, remember the basement? Well, there is no basement at the Alamo. Unfortunately, Pee Wee got there, Paul Rubens got there, and found out there is no basement. But I paid homage to San Antonio's favorite monument, legend, historical place last night. I got a tattoo. Look at this. Look at this. This is my Alamo. I got a new tattoo right there. Pretty awesome. Check that out. Pretty good coloring on that. A local place here in San Antonio. The whole band last night, three or four of us all went and got the same identical tattoo last night. So we paid homage not only to Tour, but also to the Alamo. And also, my whole fantastic view of the Alamo, I figured, I haven't been tattooed in a few years. Let me go ahead and get a tattoo of the Alamo, a little road memory that I'll have for later. And this will help me spark my interest even more in something I've already been fascinated and already learned a lot about. The Alamo. You ever hear the historical, not the historical, do you ever hear the urban legend? Look at all these rocks. Rocks are plenty. Do you ever hear the legend or the urban legend of Ozzy Osbourne? You know Ozzy. Crazy train Ozzy. Supposedly, he urinated and peed on the Alamo years ago. 
I'm not sure how long he was banned from the state of Texas. I think it may have been like five years, ten years. How many years? Look at all these rocks. Ozzy's a rock star. Rock and roll. And these are rocks. It's a little segue into Alamo Ozzy goodness. Anyway, he urinated, he peed, he desecrated the holy area that Texans know and love. And a lot of, a lot of everybody else in the United States knows and loves, known as the Alamo. They did not take kindly to that. And I was reading in the news a couple days ago, I think yesterday or the day before, maybe you can look it up and post the story down below or on my Facebook page, Adam the Woo on Facebook or Instagram, any of that stuff. But anyway, basically what happened, another person peed on the Alamo, relieved themselves, and they went to jail. So basically if you go out there, even if you pretend, I heard another story from like a year ago, somebody actually pretended like they were going to pee on the Alamo and they got arrested as well. The guy from two days ago went to jail. So if you ever visit the Alamo, do not pretend like you're going to unzip your zipper and desecrate the holy land of the Alamo. Anyway, enough of the urination talk and the rock talk. Here's some bark. Hopefully it's barking. It's early. I was hoping I would get up a little bit earlier. I posted something on my Facebook. Facebook Adam the Woo. I think it's Facebook backslash the Daily Woo. Instagram Adam the Woo. And Twitter Adam the Woo. I posted something on Facebook yesterday. If anyone was in the San Antonio area that could pick me up early, take me to the Alamo. That did not work out, unfortunately, because we're about ready to check out here in about an hour. We're going to get in that van. We're going to cruise along to Corpus Christi. The tough thing about touring with a bunch of people five or six or seven people in a van like that. It's very hard to all be on the same page and all get up at the same time and go visit stuff. That's why I do my own traveling. I've always been touring in bands for years, and that's what makes it so easy for me when I'm not touring in the band to tour by myself, when I have my own van. I don't mind sleeping in my van. I don't like just travel. I don't mind traveling, 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 because I don't know what traveling is. That's a new word I just made up, traggling instead of traveling. I don't mind doing that on my own because then I could stay in San Antonio for a day, two days. There's no rush. Then I'd be able to come back here and go to the Alamo. So I will be back to the Alamo. I'm going to spend an entire day. And also, I have a new video, not my next video, but the one after that or the one after that. I filmed an awesome Alamo-esque video. This, re this Alamo-esque video rejuvenated my whole desire, passion, and love the for the story of the Alamo. So stay tuned for that. That won't be for another week or two. But for now, hold on. We got the Alamo tattoo. I'm pretty excited. I got a new tattoo. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about that tattoo right there? The name of the tattoo studio, I believe, was Three Jewels Tattoo Studio, San Antonio, Texas. If you're in San Antonio, go see Tony. He's the one that did that right there. He's the owner of the shop, Three Jewels Tattoo Studio. I believe that's it. Just Google it. He has an Instagram, or go on my Instagram. The last couple Instagrams I posted, I actually tagged him in there. Maybe I'm getting the name of the studio wrong. So if you're on Instagram and you're in San Antonio, or you're traveling through San Antonio, make sure you make sure you have this arm covered. And look at this. This arm's covered here. This arm is not protected by from the cold. Let me get some rocks up here to keep this here. So go on my Instagram page. Find them. And if you're in San Antonio, make sure you go see them over at that fantastic shop. And add me on Instagram. Instagram is also kind of like a vicarious third Daily Woo channel. There's this, the Daily Woo. There's my main channel. But Instagram is great. So is Facebook. Because I can keep you updated on where I am. Instead of just filming a video, I can just put some pictures up. So add me on there. Have a great day. And remember, I'm going to see you tomorrow. But only if you subscribe up here and up here. Have a great day. Bye.